An operator can make his own mistakes, or he can have them forced upon him. Jerry is making his own. But Jerry hasn't read the operation guide, which calls for a full stop before changing direction. That noise Jerry can't hear yet is the transmission tearing out. We can't recommend Operator Training School enough. But for those of you who want to throw your rookie into the deep end, or for those who are just looking to improve the efficiency of your operators, here are some red flags that indicate your heavy equipment operator may be in need of training. Whether the cause is lack of skill, poor communication, or just plain recklessness, any sort of damage to your fleet is a good reason to sit down and talk to your operator, unless you want to keep emptying your pockets. What's even worse is when the operator fails to report equipment damage. This is grounds for termination, to say the least. On that note, how often are you replacing parts? Worn tires, loose attachments, and other necessary repairs can sometimes be a sign of a rookie operator. Environmental issues on the job site may be to blame, but if the equipment is failing earlier than expected, it can't hurt to keep a close eye on your operator the next time they sit behind the wheel. On a side note, how much fuel is being used, or wasted? Compare any rookie to the wise old-timer on the crew. It's obvious who runs the rig at a higher RPM, and who wastes more time idling. Delays cost money, waste fuel, and affect crew morale. Rain, sleet, or snow, the best operators get the job done. There's no time for excuses when the project owner is breathing down your neck, or a storm is closing in. There are legitimate reasons to push a deadline, of course, which is why it's crucial for the operator to communicate regularly with the foreman. Whether it's visual or audible, communication may just be the most important requirement of any equipment operator. An operator with poor communication skills has potential to drastically delay a project, not to mention get someone injured or killed. Not sure where to start? Start asking around. The crew members already know where the weak link lies. When lives are at stake, there's no excuse for failure to acknowledge hand signals, lights, horns, or just a good old-fashioned yelling. Nothing lowers morale like a difficult crew member. We have all had our moments, but when the project faces unexpected challenges, or payment hasn't gone through, or a brawl ensues, the veterans on the crew seem to keep it cool, no matter what. But it isn't just operators with bad attitudes. A tired or stressed operator can be just as much as a problem, especially when it comes to the safety of himself and others. Remember that a good foreman should spot this operator before it becomes an issue. In our experience, a lot of operators are misdiagnosed as unskilled operators when they are simply not educated well enough with certain pieces of equipment. Breaking in a new operator can take patience, Take the time to talk with the operator and properly diagnose the problem. It can be as simple as a change of machinery. But sadly, in some cases, some operators just don't belong behind the wheel, and they probably never will. With these unfortunate cases, the sooner you acknowledge the elephant in the room, the better. Have anything to add? Be sure to post in the comment section below. And don't forget to visit FreeConstructionMagazine.com to receive your free subscription to Equipment and Contracting Magazine.